to the entire world. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. Let's discuss a few things. Some things that people are sensitive to, scared to talk about, but I am not because I am a servant of the Most High. I am a servant of God. So let's discuss the power of God. Now, people who worship the devil, people who believe in Satan, people who pray to the angels, whether they pray to the holy angels or whether they pray to demonic angels. One thing that you have to understand is God created all things. All things fall underneath the heel of God. So whether you know it or not, the devil still praises God. Why? Because the devil is ignorant. The devil is unaware of his power came from God. And the devil is also aware that his power came from God. And that is the multiplicity of life. Even the evil spirits still praise God and can do nothing without the approval of the uncreated one, which is God. God created all things and all things fall underneath the heel of God. So no matter if you decide to worship those angels instead of God in the name of Jesus, if you decide to worship Satan instead of worshiping God in the name of Jesus, if you decide to worship demonic angels instead of worshiping God in the name of Jesus, if you decide to worship your cars, your house, your clothes, any other materialistic item, any other thing besides God in the name of Jesus, you shall see that God will use you as a footstool to the elevation and the success and the posterity to God's race, the human race the spirit that resides within all. God blew the breath of life even inside of Satan. Now think on that. God blew the breath of life inside of Satan. God did all of these marvelous things. So when you think of Satan, you should think that he is a lesser creature than God in the name of Jesus, which is God's son. Think about what Jesus did while he was on this earth. Think about it. Think about what other disciples and prophets and other individuals, just regular people, have done in the name of Jesus. How they have made enemies flee. How they have made evil spirits curl up into a little corner and eradicate them. How they have used the power of the cloven tongue of fire that our ancestors were anointed with, and through that bloodline, we have that. And I speak these words with sheer potency. I speak these words relentlessly because I am relentlessly relentless in the pursuit of bringing God's people together and letting them understand. They need to understand. They need to understand the word of God for themselves. Do not rely on an outside source. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. It is 2023. Jesus Christ died over 2,000 years ago. And Jesus said, we shall learn the ways of God. We shall learn the ways of Jesus and we shall walk that straight and narrow path. That path is straight and it is narrow because you alone will be in the presence of God. Either which way it goes, if you live a life filled with wrongful doings and deeds, you still will be in the presence of God. If you've chosen to live a pious life, a life filled with righteousness, you too shall be in the presence of God. Now, how and what happens, that is all on God. The uncreated one, the one we know not, but knows all of us and we seek to find that kingdom of God that lies within us. So we must remember, just as it says in certain churches, do this in remembrance of me. Just as we say and we tell each other, don't forget, we must remember, we must put back together the body of Christ, the body of God, because that is us, the human race. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. Praise God.
Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And amen.